Hello, welcome back to my little channel. I do hope you're all well. I do apologise for the not so wonderful angle whilst filming. I currently have a courtesy car, so I'm filming in a completely different setup. It's all a bit bonkers. Basically, someone here might have scraped another car. I was trying to park and trying to let someone else into a tiny gap. They insisted, like, move forward, move forward, this very posh woman. And I was moving forward to let her in. Oh, no good deed goes unpunished. I can't remember if I've told you already, but basically in moving my car and going up alongside another car, I heard a crunching sound and I scraped another car and I've got a big dent in my car on the passenger side. The other car was fine, a little scratch or two. I did leave a note, don't you worry, because of karma and all that. And they said, don't worry, we've got so many scrapes on our car, we can't see which one's yours anyway. So they didn't take it any further, but I did tell my insurance company and they insisted that I get it fixed. So I'm currently in a Corsa. And the Corsa, I, all my cars have names, girl names, and she's called Carly. So I'm in Carly the Corsa, who is lovely, but not the best for filming. Anyway, I went and did a little charity shop. What, what's the word? Route around? Walkabout? Tour? I, 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 I looked around the charity shops and I thought I want to buy a few sort of smart cash things for work, things that are comfortable and not too dressy, but a fairly professional looking, do you know what I mean? And I had a budget in mind. I didn't want to spend too much, I can't lie. Not because I'm broke, but because I thought, what can I do on a budget? So I went to the Heart Foundation, British Heart Foundation, Cancer Research, PDSA as usual, Aldershot in Hampshire, Guildford and Godalming, which is a little tiny town near my mother's house. Anyway, very quickly, just to start with a Shakespeare quote, I'm going to read it aloud just in case I get it wrong. And I have some Shakespeare um, expert coming on one day, a literary expert who comes on and says, God, you at least quote correctly. And yes, I agree. I should quote it correctly. Anyway, be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. It's from Twelfth Night. So I say Twelfth, Twelfth Night, gosh. And it's not what people think. It's not like literally you are born great, you know, you're born really powerful and great and wonderful, or you achieve it or it's thrown upon you. Not, it doesn't really mean that. It means something completely different. Basically, it's about a servant who was, you know, waiting on Viola. And he was told, you know, if you do certain things, you will become great. And so he did the most ridiculous things that would make him blush, serving this lady to try and achieve greatness. Every little whim she had, every little whim or need or want he anticipated, he basically humiliated himself by being at her beck and call and letting himself have the mickey taken out of him to achieve greatness. So that's basically, in a nutshell, what it is and how I understand it. Anyway, getting on with the haul, the first item I am so impressed with. For a long time, I've liked designer bags, but I've not really wanted a leather one. I wanted a, a Stella McCartney one, vegan, and a bit out of my price range. Whether I'm on a budget or not, I can't really be spending that much on a bag. Although, lovely as they are, I like, is it the Falabella? I think that's what's, what it's called. Anyway, I love these long champ bags. I've noticed all the posh women in Surrey, you know, with the stripy tops and the little skinny jeans and ballet slippers and expertly highlighted hair and stuff wearing them on their way to Pilates and to drop the kids off in the Range Rover and all that sort of thing. And I thought, I actually fancy one of those. And that's just about in budget. They're around 100 quid. Anyway, I didn't really want one with leather. Um, I just didn't. I know it's actually sort of ethically sourced leather. God, I'm spitting everywhere. Like it's byproducts of meat that's been eaten by people or meat that's been slaughtered. Oh, God, I hate that word. That's been slaughtered for um, use for food. God, that's not very articulate, is it? You know what I mean. Anyway, I found this. Look at this. And at first, I thought, what the heck is that? It's tiny. But look at this. Wait, 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 wait. This is basically a fake. It's a fake Longchamp 
Oh gosh, what's the turn? Wait a sec. I've got a picture. I'll show you a real one. So Longchamp Le something. Pillage? No. Longchamp Le Pillage. No, Longchamp Le Pillage. Any French people or French speakers? No, I'm not great at French. I, I did French A-level, but no, I'm not good at it. So I do apologise for butchering your beautiful language. Anyway, this is what it looks like when it's in this form. So I'm going to give it away yet. Yeah, it's really exciting. Wait for this. So it looks like that. And I actually <laughs> ruined the surprise. I haven't actually folded it up very well. Pliage means foldable. I googled that earlier. But anyway, it's a pliage bag. A fake. Look at this. So excited. So it's like a little shoulder bag. And you go, do 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 You know, down the street. You know, kind of fun. And then, wait for it. I'm, I'm still so excited by this. <gasps> Look! It opens up! into a big bag look at that so you can walk down the street and have them all believe that you have a long champ bag and that for me is very exciting i'm still one of these people who's like oh, designer you know it's still really exciting because i've never really had designer things i never really wanted them i always said one day i'll have a chanel suit like one of those twin sets like Stan is it Stanford? Stanford Blatcher's aunt in um, Sex and City had one in every colour. I think you're the right person. Or oh, I think you're Coco Chanel. Someone like that. <laughs> anyway, so this bag is the one designer thing that recently I've thought, you know, I really fancy one. And I may well get a real one one day, but I, again, I don't really want the leather here. I, I just don't want that. Not on my conscience, not going to dictate anything to anyone or give a sermon, but... I just don't want animal products for fashion, but you'll see I'm a complete hypocrite in a minute by something else I've bought, which I've researched. So anyway, so this bag, a fiver from the Heart Foundation. I mean, it's brand new as far as I can see. You can't go wrong. Just like Lisa, um, I look at it and I sort of see it looks brand new and barely been used, whatever, and I will wash it. I, I can chuck this in a cold wash in the washing machine so I will be doing that shortly. The next item is this shirt and they're both six quid. Wait a second, actually, I've got the label on still. This was 680. So is that was 680. Heart Foundation again. It's a nice big blouse, plus size, sort of chiffon blouse. And it's just a really nice smart cash look for work. So you can have it on over a little vest top or a little crop top or depending on how central you want to be and how much flesh you want to show and it's just very a very comfortable fit it's really nice and loose but it's not like a tent if you know what i mean if you're a larger figured person often the clothes even in this day and age are like tents and i don't want to wear a tent it's a lot of material and very unflattering but this it's you know, it's, it's floaty but it floats and skims rather than engulfs you. And if, I should know, I will, I will insert it. I, very badly filmed. I tried to do a little modeling sesh. So I'm just about to show you what it looks like. <laughs> so I'm gonna press pause. I'm not very good at editing yet. So just bear with me. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on. The next item, and this just shows me to be a hypocrite, and I just didn't think, I can't lie, I've got a shirt that is silk, I think. Actually, is it silk? Let's check. The green, is it silk? Yeah, it's silk. I don't know what to do about this, guys. So I've got this beautiful green, beautiful green silk shirt, and I just didn't think, I was thinking maybe it's, not silk. I didn't even check in the shop. I just love the colour. Popped it in my bag. Didn't even try it on because their changing rooms were closed, probably because of COVID, all that malarkey. But this was, as you can see, six forty, six pounds forty, reduced from eight. So slight reduction. Much cheaper than you know what if you if you bought it brand new, I suppose. But it's a lovely green, again floaty shirt, and I'm in a quandary about this because. I don't know why I didn't think of it, but I 
after I bought it on the bus, well, not the bus, on the bus on the way home, I googled silk to see if vegans and vegetarians approve of silk. No, they blooming don't. It's apparently worms are killed in the process. Oh, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to pass it on to someone to alleviate my guilt. I don't know whether to bury it. As some people do with leather, don't they? That are vegans and vegetarians and you know ethical vegans. Vegans, and I, I thought I think do I give it to someone else? I really don't know, but it's a very nice shirt. So again, in the next clip, it should be me, moi, modelling it or trying to model it. So enjoy. <laughs> Gosh, I've just realised how unflattering that is. I mean, look at the double chins. Wouldn't it be so much better without chins? Hmm. Surgery for the future, I think. Anyway, last two items from the charity shop, then I've got one more item after that. So, <laughs> this most random thing, if you have a dog, probably put your hands over the ears. Oh, it does work. So I've got this, it's a teddy, it needs a wash actually. <laughs> this was 50p, or was it, no, it was 30p. So you can see why I picked it up, so 30p, bone that says Teddy on it. So the story behind this is, is that my mother has a dog who is half Shiba Inu, half Chihuahua. We've realised, we found out he's a Shiba Wawa. And when he came to her, he was called Tyson. Not the kind of name we'd go for. No offence if you like that kind of name. She then changed his name to Rudy. Then she changed his name to Ted. <laughs> and he doesn't really suit Ted. I started calling him Edward for I don't know why. I re I don't know why. Anyway, one day we were thinking about sort of Spanish names and thinking he's part Mexican. <laughs> and <laughs> we just, we changed his name to Julio, but I just saw this and I thought if we change his name back to Ted or Teddy, we won't. I just thought it's quite cute. And he chews everything. Honestly, absolutely everything. And a, a funny, quick little story about him. So I was trying to learn Spanish a few weeks ago. I started Spanish again. And I started chatting to him in Spanish. I'm not like fluent, not actual proper long sentences. Just like, you know, Como esta? And hasta la vista? And, you know, and just bits here and there. And my my mum, bless her, she was like, Sarah, he doesn't understand Spanish like he understands other languages. Like, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Try not to laugh. And he, she said very earnestly and seriously, she said, but he doesn't understand Spanish. He he was born here. <laughs> like he, he knows English, like he's fluent in English. And, and I said, he doesn't understand any language. Not really. He understands bits like food, sit, no, <laughs> down. <laughs> and, the, and he understands, mmm, mmm. And I always go, t -t 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 when I'm about to eat something or open a packet, he comes running into the kitchen. But he doesn't understand blooming Spanish. He doesn't understand Japanese. He probably doesn't understand English, apart from a few words. But mothers, eh? Bless him. Who, what, what would you do without your mother? It would drive you completely bonkers, completely nuts, but it's your mother, isn't it? Um, last little item from the Heart Foundation Again, I didn't know what this was, and the ladies in the shop didn't elaborate. They just let me buy this, thinking it was something else. So I bought this. It's a little bird. It's one of those tea infuser things, and we've already got quite a few of these. I bought this for my mother. She loves this kind of thing. I've already got her... Well, she's got about three or four that are really similar to this one. And at the time, I thought it was a pendant or a key ring. Because look at it. Look at that. Look at, look at the, the top of it. And I, I just thought, look at the top, I, I thought it was a key ring or a pendant or something, I don't know, put perfume oils in? I don't know. There's me trying to be creative. I, I just didn't think it was a tea infuser. And then my mother, I'm so stupid myself, my mother said, oh, that's for tea, darling. And I said, oh, could you, would you put a tea bag in there? I, I don't know what I was thinking. You know, when you're quite not quite with it, you haven't had a lot of sleep. And she said, no, it's a tea infuser for tea leaves. I said, oh, oh yes, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Anyway, it is what it is. Darth's a brush. <laughs> anyway, last item. Oh gosh, I have to show you this because I just feel so stupid. It's, I have to make light of it. It's quite funny. This is something from Amazon. So, I, the story is that I 
well, I'm not saying I've lost weight. I haven't really put on weight up and down. But anyway, my trouser elastic has gone a few times. And I've noticed when I'm strolling along, my top will inch up, go uh, 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 until the belly's exposed. And if you're a larger lady, you don't want your belly on show when you're driving along. Not when you're driving along, when cars are driving along, when you're walking along the road, you don't want your belly on show. Even if you're not ashamed of it, why should you be? But I don't really want my blubber and belly poking out over my trousers like a builder. I just, I'm not there for that. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so my trousers coming down, my top coming up. Oh, what a lovely picture. Anyway, I thought those, you know those things that you, you could have in the 90s, those bodies? So it's like a leotardy type item. So it's like a, a little vest top with pants attached. Bear with me. So, <laughs> and you wear it under clothing or you can wear it as a fashion statement. I thought, oh, I could go back to the 90s. Not literally, I haven't got a time machine. But I thought I could get one of those or a couple and wear them under clothes. And then if my top comes up, you know, it, it's just nothing to see, nothing to see here, move it along, do you know what I mean? And I thought, I found one on Amazon, I thought, no, you know, me being me, I went for the cheapest, not gonna lie, didn't really pay attention to the picture, I just saw the cheap price, like a tenner, I was like, click, swipe, yep. And I, d I was not expecting anything sensual or sexy, honestly, I was not going for sexy, I do not consider myself a sexy person, nor do I have any interest in being a sexy person in any way, shape or form. Literally, no pun intended. Anyway, this is what, and I'm not going to model it for you, those in the back. This is, what, <laughs> this is what came, and it's made in China, I think. It's made in China? Yep, made in China. This is what came through the post. It's like, do da do 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 do, 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 do. So that's what it would look like on. Crikey, look at that. Look at that. It's literally a sexy teddy. It's got a little sexy crotch. I just don't know what to make of it. I mean, what are you meant to do with that? I mean, what if you're wearing this as a bra and knickers and it's basically see-through? Who would want that? Who would want a see-through bra? I want support, mate. I want things to hold and hide the peanuts. Do you know what I mean? Gosh, look at that. Can you, I hope you can see it. I'm, I'm not modelling this, but it's basically an all-in-one. It goes all the way up to the crotch. And it is not nice material, guys. This is the lovely... Oh, I think it comes undone. That's quite fun. Oh, gosh, easy access. <laughs> not something I'm interested in at the moment in any way, shape or form. Anyway, it's made of polyester, 95% polyester, 5% elastane, whatever that might be, but uh, I was not expecting this. Anyway, so that is the last from my haul. I do actually have some earrings I bought. I bought three pairs of earrings from, oh, I told you about this already, accessorized, but I've forgotten to bring them with me. They're in the house somewhere, honestly. So it's not too long. Have I kept under... Oh gosh, it's under eight minutes. That's not bad, is it? So that's just my little tiny haul. I thought I would try a shorter video because, again, I've said this many a time. When I go for a long one, when I just blather on about nothing... Oh gosh, I'm trying to burp here. Excuse me. I did have some cherry coke before I came out. That's for Paula. I did have cherry coke. Cherry coke this time, Paula, not cherry Pepsi. Uh, and that's my quandary this week. Which one do I prefer? cherry pepsi max or cherry coke i really don't know but i have got something else with me where is it again this is this is one of my new addictions oh, I, would, I would love to promote greg's i wish greg's would sponsor me with my you know when I, if i get to a thousand they might they might consider sending me the odd vegan sausage roll but oh the cinnamon lattes they're so good and i know they're sugary i know they are but it is what it is I tell you something, I went to McDonald's today in Guildford and again, this just shows I'm not a coffee person, I'm quite naughty with sweet sugary drinks. I have developed a taste for the hot cross bun latte and of course, McDonald's being McDonald's, they let you get hooked on something and then they cancel it, it's just a promotion. So I queued up and I was all expectant and I was like, um, anticipating, I was like, um, hot cross latte. Oh. 
hot cross bun latte, please. One of your finest didn't actually say that. But I just said, hot cross bun latte, please. And he said, what? <laughs> eh? What are you on about? Hot cross bun latte, please. He went, come again? I'm not kidding. Hot cross bun latte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean, but we ain't got none. It's stopped. And I was like, oh, no. Why? Like, it's going to change anything. And he said, the promotion, it was like for Easter and stuff in it. Oh, so I had to go for a toffee nut. But isn't that naughty? It's a Friday, I suppose. But I had a toffee nut latte and a Greg's cinnamon latte. And they were both good. I can't lie. I cannot tell a lie. They were both delish. Anyway, I'm going to go now. I'm going to leave you in peace. I've got a few different things coming up. I'm going to be doing a makeover look from one particular day decade i'm not sure if i'm going to do it in a short or a full length video and give you the viewing pleasure of me for over 10 minutes i don't know and i'm going to be doing a primark haul i'm still working out quite what i need i'm making a list because i don't want to buy any crap or things i really don't need or actually want because in things i don't need i don't really want to be fair Although I do like the odd treat now and then, not going to lie. I'm also going to be doing a perfume video. I'm slowly building up, one is slowly building up one's perfume collection at the moment as we speak. And looking for new ideas for that as well, because I love perfume. I love the perfume bottles as well, even, probably even more than the perfumes. Anyway, I am now rabbiting on. One more thing, I have my hair done and it's a very different look. I had someone give me the best compliment the other day that I slightly resembled at some angles Jennifer Coolidge, who, what was she in? She's in the White Lotus. She's brilliant. She's one of my idols. White Lotus. She was MILF in American Pie and she played the kind of nail technician in Legally Blonde. Oh, I love that film. I love the musical as well. But anyway, someone said... Actually, a couple of people, it was a couple, they might have been blind to be honest, but anyway, they said I, I resembled slightly a young Jennifer Coolidge. And I was thinking, not that young, mate, but I'll take that. Thank you. So there's me going off happy. I'll leave it on that happy note and not go on and on, on. I will see you again soon. Hope you enjoyed this little video of me banging on. Any comments, any constructive criticism, go ahead. I am open to it. I'm here for it. Any, anything you want to suggest or any other video ideas, things you'd like to see, things you'd watch. And so until then, I, was the, I actually forgot. I lost my train of thought then. I was going to say something else, but I completely forgot. But anyway, thank you very, very much for viewing. If you got to the end here, well done. You're so patient. So good. Take care of yourselves and of each other. Have a lovely week and see you soon next Thursday. Bye.